Let me show you how to create, save and share, and delete brushes and give you a practical example. Let's say I'm a music teacher and I want to create a staff to print out. I'm going to set my brush diameter to 5 pixels and 100% hardness. Now I'll go over to my brush presets panel. I'm going to set the brush spacings to about that far apart. Okay, now to paint. I'm going to hold my shift key down and paint dots about that far. Now I'm going to grab my rectangular marquee selection tool. Its shortcut key is M and select those five dots. With those selected, I'm going to go up into the edit menu and define a brush preset. In the dialog that appears, I'll name it Musical Staff and press OK. I now have a new brush called Musical Staff. I'm going to need to drop my selection, so I'm going to go up in the Select menu and deselect. So now I'll just hold my Shift key down while I paint with this new brush. And look at that. I've got a Musical Staff. I'm ready to compose. Since this is a brush, I can just make it any size I want and paint with it. Let's say my friend now saw me using this brush and he would really like a copy of it. I can share it with him. Let me show you how. Again, I come up into the Brush Options menu and make sure my brush is selected. I'll click on that gear icon again and in that dropout menu, I'll select Export Selected Brush. In the Save dialog that appears, I'll save it to my desktop and I'll call it Musical Staff. Adobe Brushes in with .abr. So I'll click Save. Now I'll quickly switch over to my desktop and there's my brush file. It seems on my laptop that it wants to have the Affinity Publisher icon, but it is an Adobe brush. Now let's learn how to delete a brush. So we'll go back up into the brush options again and make sure that the brush that we want to delete is selected. And we'll go into that gear icon again and choose to delete the brush there. So that's how we create, how we share, and delete brushes.